on the previous episode. I'm gonna investigate you whole. I hope you feel violated after I'm done with you. And we continue to play our game. Fuck you all. Fuck everything in this place. Okay. Door has was gone a lot. Alrighty then. Cabinet is empty. Cabinet is empty. Better check everything. Cabinet is empty. Okay. Cabinet is empty. Cabinet is empty. Hello. What is this weird plenty thing? Bed frame. Papers. Glass. Okay. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, floor! Fuck everything! God! This has got to stop. It's the fucking basement! There shouldn't be things like holes! God! God! Ah, oh, this thing frustrates me. It's... Hello? I mean, hello, do do his business. Infirmary, infirmary, hello, infirmary. Cabinet is empty. Cabinet is empty. Hello, sparkles. Crowbar. That should do it. You better go hand it over to that guy, and I'm gonna save. Because I know there's gonna be weird fucking statues gonna stalk us now because we have a crowbar and we can whack them with it. Bitches. Okay, this that no point in going in this room because it. Okay. We can. Was this. Okay. I don't like this at all, you creepy bitches. Creepy bitches all the time. By the way, I think he's a teacher, maybe, maybe not. But I know he's older. He's in his 20s at least. So, damn, pass it through. No way, there's nobody here. You've gotta be kidding. We were just talking to him. I don't even know what to believe anymore. Is there anything real? There's something in here. Present from me to you. Elegant key. Piece of paper. The old ones are coming. What's that supposed to mean? Looks like there's something else here too. Okay, thank you. So much keys. <laughs> okay, there's blood coming. Oh, fuck you, room. Fuck you. Read the note. Fucking sure. Okay, goodbye. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yep. There's no door here. Good thing. Yep, yep, yep. Heartbeats. Heartbeats. So much heartbeats. Ooh. Interesting way to die. There's no door here. Um. Fuck everything in this room. Well, I'm not going in this room again. I'm like, please die already. Like, I want you to die. Please. Or 
or not? What the fuck just happened? Wait. What? There you are. You just kind of wandered off on your own. I was wondering where you went. Yeah, I was just checking a few things. Okay, your eyes are looking a little red. It's nothing, don't worry about it. You sure? Or is just that doesn't look normal at all. Hey? <laughs> you talk too much, you know that? Wrong end five. Devil's plaything. Wrong end swirly. Yeah, I knew I'm yeah. Don't go in that room again. The door was unlocked. Hello. So we can go up now. Sweet. Did I ever tell you how much I hate industrial areas? First time, first I've heard of it. Care to explain? I haven't. How's how's the door looking? By the way, oh good, the power's out. Let's try the stairs down. See if we find something down there. I'd rather not. So, what's your deal anyway? Watch too much horror movies with kind of this kind of setting. Oh, quiet, you. Just give me the creeps, is all. I don't really know how to explain it, but I always feel like I'm in a constant Dang. Oh my god, what the hell? Did you see that? Did you just see that? It's official. All your good luck is starting to wear off. Okay, that's enough of this place. We're leaving. I never knew you had this kind of side to you. Save that bitch. Okay, why is she walking like that? Okay, that's a weird... Um, well... Hello, lover! Whoa! Looks like the power's back on. So, hmm? You are feeling less, less down? Yeah, I guess so. When you're here, I feel like everything's going to be... Alright, wait. So I always thought, wait... Okay, you're gonna be alright. I feel the same way about Ken, whatever. So I always thought you'd be a perfect match for each other. Both of you are just so amazing, it makes me proud to be able to call all of you my friends. Now there's your, there's a sweetheart, absolutely flattering, darling. I'm sure you'll find everything else in no time. Yeah, right, who am I kidding? Everyone else is probably dead. You really know how to get a person's spirit up, don't you? In a place like this, it's the least we can do. We're never going to leave this place alive. Why did it have to be you, anyway? When we get back, I'm definitely treating you to something nice. I can't even explain how ho helpful you've been by staying strong. What was this dessert shop you really liked? The one across the street from the park, Silver Spoon? If it was him, then at least... Alright, that's enough idling. The less time we waste, the better chance we have. Right, right. I wouldn't be afraid of the future. Be so afraid of the future. Okay, so... Um, the blonde one... Has this hidden... Um, layer of her that... She doesn't let people see. And... She's apparently kind of lying to the person I'm playing right now is face um she doesn't really like him like her very much so that's you no know. wait I'm winning 
a feeling she's gonna die for some reason. There's always gonna be someone gonna die. There's a camera up there. Fire extinguisher. Hello. The door passcode is locked. What? Really, codes? I don't I have no idea what the code would be. Is it just me or is it writer? For some reason. Hello perhaps you don't well, whatever. Hmm. room it was. Shit. I really don't like going back up here. Wait, they're gone. What the fuck? It opened. Looks like we're going up then. Please don't. Ah, that. Okay. Okay. You know, I'm actually kind of relieved to be back up here. Not really comfortable with being underground. It's getting hard to breathe down there. You holding up alright? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Oh yeah, sure you don't need a quick checkup? Eh? Come here, you. What? What just happened? Hey, hey, cut it out. Come on. Where's that, your sense of humor? I just... We shouldn't be fooling around like this. I know what you're trying to do and I'm grateful for it, but we need to remember where we are. Our friends might help need our help somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I was just, I was, wanted to tease you a little. Nothing wrong with having a little fun, right? Is there something wrong? Is there, if there is, you can tell me. You gave, I gave you that idea? Of course there's nothing wrong. Everything's fine, trust me. I don't know, something, something just doesn't feel right with the way you've been acting. If it, really is nothing than sorry for jumping to conclusions yeah of course i'll make sure to tell if you something's wrong i can lean on you and you can lean on me yeah if you say so alrighty then Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, cool. mm, building thing, yeah. The open air feels nice to be outside, doesn't it? A bit chilly, though. The rain's coming down pretty hard. It'll be pretty nice if you could leave right now, don't you think? Looks like we can cross to the forest, but yeah, I know, we got to leave with everyone else. What it's like to always put other people before yourself, anyway. You always go out of your way to make other people happy, even if it means you're sacrificing something. What's it like? I don't know. I really 
never really thought much of it. I'm just a very needy person, I guess. All I want is for everyone to be happy, and that's good enough for me. There's life after death. You're definitely going to be reincarnated as a snake, saint, or maybe Jesus. I don't think you can be reincarnated, reincarnated as Jesus. Hey, do you have anyone you like? Anyone I like? Why do you ask? Just curious what, about what kind of guys you're into. Suddenly, his question seems feels a little more personal. You should, you gonna be selling this information? Maybe. I don't know. You're a real cutie, but there are tons of guys out there who'd love to get together with you. You think so? I really never really thought of myself as very interesting. Look at at look you being so modest again. I'll tell you what. If you don't. If you can't find anyone, I'll make you, I'll take you on a date. Where's this coming from all of a sudden? A date? Come on, it'll be fun. I know you're popular with both the guys and the girls, but this is a little sudden. And they are going to be jealous of me, not you, by the way. You are darn cute. Little critter. Little critter. Okay, okay, cut it out. I get the idea. I've already got... What's his face? So I'm not sure where all of this is coming from. Who could refrain that had a heart to love and that heart courage to make love known? Shakespeare at the time like this? It's like she's treating the whole situation as though nothing's happening at all. We're all alone without a care in the world. But that lingering feeling keeps coming back. Why is it that I feel such pain? From behind her smile, why is it that I see such a longing, wistful gaze behind her eyes like the last flicker of a candle flame before it vanishes? Hey, you're you're not that we're not that close. You head up in the clouds again. Yeah, something like that. Let's keep going. Right behind you. Save point. Gotta save my point. I knew the layout of the school would be different, but, um, yeah, like I said before, it's a little... Actually, it's not... Actually, this is not too different. It's just bigger. There's no cabinet. There's no cabinet! Yay! Okay. <laughs> Are we gonna meet a crazy guy that's gonna try to kill us? Blue Spirit, hello. Blue Spirit, come back. Come back, Blue Spirit. Stop moving. God, oh there, I can't, I can't find it. Okay. Okay, now it's starting to feel more like Corpse Party. So, that, that basement thing was just, why is that there? I love how this like little compartment is like, I am not seeing the world at all. You cannot see me. I cannot see you. I'm invisible. Okay. Hello, creepy creepiness. Sketchbook page number one. Hello. Items. Um. Can, can I look at you? No, I can't, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'm guessing there's gonna be like nothing, but I might as well. All right. Okay, she's not walking weird again. I'm catching on that this is the teacher's lounge. First aid kit. Thank you. Someone's religious, lots of Bible over there. I love how I check everything and then I save. Cause you never know my, what might happen. Especially with like a series that's based off of course party. 
Okay. I'm in a hole again. You cannot see me. I just, it's weird. Why would you add that little thing? It's like, I am hidden from the world. Little spirit, what are you doing? I can't find, okay, you can't find what? What are you looking for? I'm still waiting for that, like, famous infirmary. I'm guessing this is... Mm, no. Okay. Heavy fog of darkness. No, not yet. I'm good. Unless I... Actually, I could get another ending if I open that. Hello, door. Interesting. Oh, another sketch item. Be nice to actually see the pictures. I guess not. Sketchbook three. There's nothing inside. Awesome. No time to be reading. No time to be reading. Okay. Hello, Bible. There seems to be a lot more items. And this one, bottle spilled liquid is sickly black color. And I just noticed there's no, like, buckets of pee and stuff. So that's different. It's definitely... Huh? You're kidding. What's up, the door being big meanie? I don't get it. It's not... Budging at all what's with this door we just came through it calm down we'll figure out something yeah you're right if what's your face was here bet he could just bust the door down in no time what's this am i not good enough for you you know what i mean you want to give the door a shot i mean you're pretty strong too right since you're on the track team and you work out and everything I don't think I'll have much better luck than you, to be honest. We really should need... We would need what's-his-face. But I guess you'll have to be stuck with useless old me. Say you and I take a break from all this for a bit, yeah? I'm sure you're exhausted from all this running around, especially in a place like this. Might as well. Hey. What? Have you ever been in love? I don't know. You're not going to accept that as an answer. Is something wrong? What would you do if you knew you could never go back? If we never saw any of our friends again? How would I know? What was- what, what the- is she crying? Why? I'm scared of what will happen to us. I... I think... I think I love you. The words hit me hard. What was she thinking? What was going on through her mind as she said them? I paused for a while before responding, but I couldn't make sense of it. Why would she say that? And why now? Why are you saying all of, Why are you saying all of a sudden? You love me? Ishikawa's voice was eerie, eerily soft, and her eyes stared hard into mine, as though she could find answers behind the reflection. This wasn't the Ishikawa that I knew. The Ishikawa I know is more honest with her feelings, but now I don't know what she's become. Do you love me? Uh, okay, I do, yes. I don't know what's going on, but maybe I can work around this somehow if I play along. I... yeah, I do. You do? You mean it? You're not lying, right? Your eyes were glistening with a flash of uncertainty spread across her face, but only for a moment. I swallowed hard. Was it too late to back out? I didn't want to say no, but my heart was pounding so fast that I couldn't make heads or tails of what role I should be playing right now. The thoughts in my head jumbled and clashed amongst the chaos 
There was nothing I could do to see where this exchange was going. I mean it. I'm not. I'm swear. Then say it. Her voice remained soft, but now there was remained determined sternness behind it, almost as though she was giving me an order. The expression on her face flickered in and out between desperate and utterly defeated. Say what? That you love me. I already told you that I do. I want to hear the words. Her lips made a careful, deliberate motion, stretching the words out as though she were afraid that I might miss it. I love you. Well, why don't you say it? Why won't you say it? I... Why can't you understand? Don't you get it? Her dark expression suddenly grew fierce, almost into something akin to anger. Her brows heard, and her face creased with visible wrinkles, her hand slightly twisted into the fabric of the bed treats. But she, but she wasn't angry at me. You're never getting out of here alive. We're probably never even gonna see any of our friends again. We're all dead, aren't they? They're, they've got to be. Ishikawa, what are you saying? So while this moment lasts, won't you stay, say it just once? Tell me you love me. I just want to hear the words, please. Say it. Duh! Say it. Of course, it wasn't the pressure. It was the pressure. I couldn't take it. I couldn't say no. Not to that face. I was afraid that if I were to deny, to deny her this request, her fragile form would suddenly shatter that she'd be so stricken with grief that her heart would stop. I know that this was just imagination playing tricks on me, but the feeling was there. I truly, truly was afraid. This was how the countenance of a friend, 17 years old, Ishikawa, Anya, any, whatever, appeared to me. So I said it. I love you. You really said it. Can you say it again? Ishikawa didn't look happy at all. In fact, that was the most reasonable I've ever seen her. The pain in her eyes was almost unbearable. Her forced smile, the falling tears, all of it was just... I couldn't take it. My heart couldn't take it. Ishikawa? Dots. There was a long silence. I didn't know what to do, so I just sat there and watched her crying. She didn't even bother wiping away her tears. It hurt to see her like this. I almost couldn't stand the sight, but I knew I wouldn't couldn't look away. I couldn't dare look away, but God, it hurt so much. At length, the quiet sobbing subsided, but her body was still quivering. Yet to explain, yet to recover from her episode, sniffling, she looked up at me again. What, what the hell am I saying? What have I been trying to make you say? Huh? Am I crying? There's no way I'd be crying. Ishikawa, are you okay? No, don't touch me. Please, just don't touch me. Why? Why am I such a goddamn mess? What the hell am I even doing bringing you down like this, even though I swore that I wouldn't? So pathetic. It's okay. Everything's going to be alright. I lean on you and you lean on me, right? Okay, that's- I don't have the other choice. Her warm body pressed against mine and I could feel the tears running again. And not just from her eyes, but from mine. I tried to hide it by stifling my voice, but it was no good. It's okay to cry. I'm right here. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. I don't have to apologize. You don't have to apologize for anything. You were just tired is all. Just close your eyes and let it all out. Thank you. They had a moment. How are you feeling? Got it all out of your system? Mostly, yeah. And thanks, I really needed that. Yeah, no problem. I, I'm sorry I didn't notice earlier. But you did notice. You checked on me every now and then. Maybe it didn't seem like much to you, but it made me really happy. You have to look after each other, right? Damn right. Well, I think that was long enough for a break. Let's get back to our feet, okay? I'm right behind you.
Please don't die. Please don't die. If you die, I'm gonna be so fucking upset. It's gonna be Seiko all over again.